General Montmorency, who was in Calcutta in 92, emerged from his retirement for the war. He wasn't very pleased with all he heard and all he saw, but whatever he felt, he tightened his belt and organized a corps. Poor Colonel Montmorency thought, considering all the wars he'd fought, the Home Guard was his job to do or die. But after days and weeks and years, bravely drying his manly tears, he wrote the following letter to the Minister of Supply. Could you please oblige us with the Bren gun? Or failing that, a hand grenade will do. We've got some ammunition in a rather damp condition, and Major Huss has an arquebus that was used at Waterloo. With the vicar's stirrup pump, a pitchfork and a spade, it's rather hard to guard an aerodrome. So if you can't oblige us with the brand gun, the home guard might as well go home. Could you please oblige us with the brand gun? We're getting awfully tired of drawing lots. Today we had a shipment of some curious equipment. And just for a prank, they sent us a tank that ties itself in knots. On Sunday's mock invasion, Captain Clark was heard to say he hadn't even got a brush and comb. So if you can't oblige us with the brand gun, the home guard might as well go home. Colonel Montmorency planned, in case the enemy tried to land, to drive them back with skill and armoured force. He realised his army should be mechanised, of course. But somewhere inside, experience cried, My kingdom for a horse. Poor Colonel Montmorency tried, at infinite cost of time and pride, to tackle his superiors again. Having just one motorbike, 14 swords and a marlin spike, he wrote the following letter in the following urgent strain. Could you please oblige us with the brand gun? We need it very badly, I'm afraid. Our local crossword solver has an excellent revolver, but during a short attack on the fort, the trigger got mislaid. In course of operations planned for Friday afternoon, our orders are to storm the hippodrome. So if you can't oblige us with the brand gun, the home guard might as well go home. Could you please oblige us with the brand gun? The lack of one is wounding to our pride. Last night we found the cutest little German parachutist. He looked at our kit and giggled a bit and laughed until he cried. We'll have to hide that armored car when marching to Berlin. We'd almost be ashamed of it in Rome. So if you can't oblige us with the brand gun, the home guard might as well go home.